Did you get a job yet? No. I have feelers out. Lots. So you're a fan of our morning program? So many, yeah, uh, yeah, we know it's terrible. Them. Coming up tomorrow, we'll show you what to do with those shampoo bottles with just an inch of shampoo left. Huh. Daybreak's understaffed, underfunded. Any producer who works there will be publicly ridiculed, overworked, on the paid. Awful. I'll take it. <laughs> I'd like to offer you the position of co-host of Daybreak. After the career that I've had? <laughs> Is he gonna cook? Is he gonna do fashion segments and gossip? Not my thing. You happen to be a pretentious, fatuous idiot. A fatuous idiot who makes three times what you make. So now is an excellent time for you to take up drinking. What's going on now? Mike is offended by a word in the next story. It's about Easter chicks. I'm not saying the word fluffy. Interesting, Jerry hired you. No polish, no pedigree. <laughs> Tomorrow, Colleen will make the British classic bangers and mash. Because you refuse to do it, Mike. Now that, and it's tough to get between you and a sausage. It wasn't that bad. How reliable is your alarm clock? You want to make the ratings worse? That's why you came here? Try not to bore the nation into a coma with your dull news crap. Suck it. Mike! No one can do their jobs around here well, because you can't be bothered to do yours at all! And we're back. Welcome back to Daybreak. It's only my job. It's not my whole life. Take, Take what you want! That's a little, that's wrong. Do it again.